Hello and welcome to a new data science challenge. This challenge is different from the challenges we discussed in previous videos. It's different in the sense that the data is not a table data, it's not a structured data. So here we are trying to develop a machine learning model to make sense of movie reviews. This is a text data and we have to learn how to perform feature engineering to extract features from text before we can perform classification. In our previous challenge, we solved a problem of detecting whether a customer car was in accident before or not. This is for insurance purposes. If you'd like to see that challenge and how this problem is solved, please visit the link listed in this slide and it will be added to the description below. Alright, in our new challenge, the first step is to collect the data. You can see here, let's say we have a movie and we collected three reviews. This is just to simplify uh, the, uh, the problem. here. So, the first review says the movie is very scary, the second is Movies boring and is slow. Somebody else say love it. The, the action is professional. But if you look at this data, there is no way we use it as valid input for a classifier. Because simply, that classifier will uh, treat it as one string. But we need some features in order to classify these reviews into positive and negative reviews. In this video, we are going to explore a very simple method. We call it bag of words. So once the features are extracted, we are going to perform classification in order to know which review is positive and which review is negative. So the second step here is to design a vocabulary. If you see, we listed here each and every word existed in the three reviews. Simply, there are 12 different words extracted from here, from the three reviews. So this, the third step is to create document vectors. And the, doctor, uh, the document vectors simply is look at each and every word and what is appear in the review, we put one, otherwise it's zero. For example, that appeared in all the three reviews. That's why you can see here one for each. A word like professional appeared only in the third review, and so forth. So this is a representation which we could be used as input for a classifier. We can even go to a more sophisticated feature extraction method. We're going to stay and stick to a very simple method today. And we're going to discuss more sophisticated methods in the future. But this simple method will do as input for a classifier. So we can even look at how many times the word is actually repeated. For example, if you look at this, is is actually repeated twice. In the second review. This is simply can be two. And so forth. Another thing, we can remove we can remove all stop words or word that may not really uh, serve as a good um, uh, predictor. This is not a good attribute, for example, it. It will not reflect whether the movie will be good or not. But a word like professional, or boring, or scary, have a good indication of whether the movie is good or not, or positive or negative. So, you may find the data set looks something like this, which is, you know, having two columns, the review column and the class column. And this is, in this case, we can just use bag of words, select features, 
use a classifier and build a classification model. Sometimes you may find it in this structure. Two folders and each folder has separate reviews. For example, review number one, you find it in a separate text file. Review number two in another file. And similarly for the negative folder. So in our practical session, basically we're gonna explore a similar data set with two folders having positive and negative reviews. In this case, we have 1,000 positive reviews and 1,000 negative reviews. We're gonna use Bag of Word uh, to extract some features. We're gonna label, of course, um, the, the reviews automatically. And then we're gonna apply classification techniques such as support vector machine or neural uh, network or naive base. And then we are going to evaluate the performance of the classifier. Hello and welcome to our practical session. So this is the data we just explored in our lecture. You could see here we have the reviews and we have the class. Of course, this is very simple data. It may not be even a good idea to perform classification in such a data but of course the steps are the same if you have more samples added to this data set all right so let's hit on the application here and we can open this file so it's a csv file so I'm going to open it. Of course, we have two classes. As you can see in here, we have two classes, positive and negative. But the only thing here, the review, will not make much sense here because it will be treated as just string. Look at our data set here. And then you could see we have just, you know, uh, the reviews here and the class. And in fact, even treat it as nominal. Okay? So what we should do here, first of all, we're going to change this to string. And then from a string, we need to extract uh, uh, vectors or features. All right. The first step for us is to convert to unsupervised attribute we're gonna change the nominal into string nominal to string which one the first column here or the first attribute okay and apply so when we look at it here you find it it's a string now so we have another function if you scroll down called string word vectors click on this and if, if you look at the options here first of all by default this method which is bag of word again can extract up to 1000 word we're gonna apply it based on the first att attribute again and if you say okay and apply then you could see here the word that are actually extracted but there are a few things here we notice remember when we did this in the lecture we had 12 attributes in this case we have 13 of course plus the class if you look carefully then you see here the capital that and small that here are counted as, as different words so we could get rid of this by simply in option here there are few things we can do first of all we can choose a method that can eliminate stop word remember when we said the or it or um, uh, in or whatever we can remove this kind of uh, uh, wording which may not help right so also here 
you can perform the low case token if you make this as true so we'll neglect the fact that there is a, a capital and a small uh, letters in there so when we hit ok and apply now you could see so it the whatever is actually removed so now our data is ready for classification the only thing is we cannot see the classes active in here simply you can go to edit the classes here right click attribute as class okay and that's it so the data now is ready for classification let's now try the same thing in a bigger data set the data set mentioned uh, in the lecture the only thing we're going to take uh, a smaller version of that data for the uh, you know running time on uh, uh, to reduce the complexity and the computational complexity but we're going to show the trick of actually go into that data set and label it automatically so the data in our case look like this review then you have a folder for negative and a folder for positive so when you go into positive then you find each and every review is actually in separate text file in this case let's say we have 59 um, reviews and the negative let's say we have 51 okay how we do this all right so simply we can go and open let's just go to home this is the challenge review so Waco will not accept just opening a folder and this is a folder if you hit on open then you receive a note like this but you go ahead and click ok so here we're gonna choose a method to upload this folder we're gonna use text directory loader you say ok then if you see here under text we have all the 110 samples here you have the class which is 59 for positive reviews and 51 for negative reviews but now becomes similar to the previous steps we did in the first data set so look let's look at the data set here this is basically the reviews this is in the string so no problem and this is a nominal uh, class which is fine negative or positive by the way you can just right click here and rename the attribute it looks a little uh, silly so we can just name it as class All right now we need to extract features here and we can use the same method which is bag of word here to extract um, uh, vectors from the string you can use the same um, uh, setting maybe we can reduce this to 500 only and apply this is again remember the first attribute so when we apply it and you could see here we have 500 word extracted I'm gonna do the same but there are a few things here you could do by your own this is will not make any you know predictions will not help us so things like this you can simply manually remove again we are gonna tell Weka that this is the class so attribute as class okay now we can see here are the two classes and these are the wording now we are ready and we can perform classification let's do that so you go to classify here and then we can use for example decision tree leave it as cross validation start then you could see here we get very low accuracy using decision tree we could use something like usually work fine with text data and this kind of you know sparse data which is naive base and it gets something around 81% uh, which is decent 
uh, accuracy in this case. And the reason why we're getting low accuracy is sometimes because despite the fact that we remove some of the um, uh, stop word and wording which might not make sense, you may still find uh, some noise in this data set. So let's try also uh, classify using uh, things like a neural network. Let's go to function. There's one implementation of weighted neural network. Neural network usually takes uh, much time, but um, it usually gives us um, uh, also good results. And almost done. It's about 72. So one trick here is to find the best informative features and work with them. We can do this through the pre-processing. Choose we can go for supervised learning, attribute, select attribute. We just use the basic uh, method here. When we apply it, instead of 500, now we have only 100, uh, sorry, 53 attributes. We'll see this is improving the results or not. So let's use again um, uh, neural network as it is. The previous results was 72.72. Uh, now we're getting 96% after eliminating all the noise in the data. Only four reviews were uh, wrongly classified. And remember, here we're using uh, cross-validation. As we mentioned, what's cross-validation all about and this confusion matrix in our first um, uh, video. You will find the link to that video in the description below. Please go through it to understand what's the confusion matrix and how we evaluate the performance of the model. Let's try something like naive base, as we mentioned. It works fine in here. Getting 94, which is uh, good uh, accuracy. Let's try something like a uh, support vector machine, SMO. It's about 90%, uh, which is, again, decent uh, accuracy. Thank you very much. And in our next challenge, we're going to address issues related to extracting features from images and how we can use these features for classification purposes. Stay tuned and see you soon.